Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're look, gonna look at decomposing vectors, or another name is vector composition. So taking two vectors and finding a different path, basically, that is orthogonal or perpendicular. So let's define what the definition of vector components are. Okay, we have two vectors, u and v, and they are non-zero vectors. Okay, we're going to take vector u and we're going to decompose it into two separate vectors. We're going to call those w sub 1 and w sub 2. This is also known as decomposing into vector components. So if you see vector components, a lot of times you'll see decomposing. Okay, so we're taking u and dividing it into two smaller parts where u and w are orthogonal, which also means perpendicular to each other. So w sub u is parallel to a scalar vector v. So we're going to take the path of w up vector v, and then we're going to, to make a right angle. So we're going to be, it's going to be orthogonal to the other component. It's the second vector, which is w sub um, sub 2. So the vector, the first vector, is a projection of u up v denoted by the following symbol, the projection of u of, of on v. So the second vector is given, is found by just taking u and subtracting the, the vector that you find, okay? It sounds very complicated, but it's actually not as bad as you think. <laughs> Projection of u onto v. Let u and v be non-zero vectors, and the projection formula is the following. The projection of u onto v is the dot product of u and v divided by the, the magnitude of v squared that becomes a ratio or almost like a partitioning of a vector and then you multiply that times vector v. So let's look at how this works, okay? The best way to think about it is this way, okay? I have the vector u and it is 3, negative 5. So I'm going to go over in typical fashion. I'm going to go over in my horizontal direction 3 and then down negative 5 and I place that position, and then I draw the vector u, okay? Now, the best way to explain this is, let's say that we cannot use the x-axis. That Let's say it snowed, and this road along the x-axis is covered, and you can't get there. So you're going to take a different road. You're going to take the road called v. So instead of going out 3 and down 5, you now have to go up this road. And then you're going to turn at a 90 degree angle, make a perpendicular turn to get to the same final position, U. So let's say this, this is your house and you need to get home and you're at work and this road is closed. So normally you go down 3 miles and you turn and you go 5 miles. This time you have to go up this road and then make a 90 degree turn to get to home. That is basically the projection. So U, uh, W sub 1 tells us, well, how far up this road do I go before I make this, make this right angle turn to find the distance that I then go down, W sub 2. So I'm taking U, the vector, and I'm dividing it into two parts, a w sub 1, which is my first direction, and then a w sub 2, which is my second distance, okay, or direction, and I'm going to get to the same location as the end of u, but I have to take the path down v to get there. So once you kind of understand what we're doing, it makes more sense, okay? So what do you do? First, we have to find the first distance, or w sub 1. How far do we go up v before we turn? Then to find the second, second vector, 
we're going to take u and we're going to subtract w sub 1 to find that distance because u plus uh, w sub 1 plus w sub 2 is equal to u. So let's try this formula. So we, we're going to find the projection of u onto v for where u is negative 3 or 3, negative 5, and v is 6, 2. So we've seen that picture. Then we're going to write u as the sum of these two orthogonal vectors. Now, what do we mean by orthogonal? We mean they're perpendicular. So you're making a right angle or a turn to find that. So we're decomposing it into these two orthogonal vectors. So to find our w sub 1, this formula gives us w sub 1, or that first vector. So we're going to take the dot product of 3 and negative 5 uh, times 6 and 2. So that's going to give us 18 plus negative 10. So we end up with an 8 in the numerator. And then in the denominator, we're going to find the magnitude of V, and we're going to square it. Well, V is just 6, 2. So we want to find the magnitude of that vector. So the first thing we're going to do is just do the Pythagorean theorem, 6 squared plus 2 squared, and that's going to give us that magnitude, right? So that's going to be 36 plus 4, and that gives us 40. And normally I would take the square root of that. But we want the magnitude squared, so we're going to stop right there. We're going to divide this by 40. So 40 is our denominator. So we have 8 over 40 as this fractional part. So that gives us what fraction of the vector we're going to go up. Well, I'm just going to reduce this by 8 to 1 fifth. So basically, we want one-fifth of vector v. Now, if you notice in the formula, we now take this ratio and we multiply it by vector v. So I'm taking one-fifth of vector v. So one-fifth, oops, let me grab a pen, one-fifth of the distance up vector v. And vector v, I believe, was what? 6, 2, yeah. 6 and 2. So 1 fifth of that is 6 fifths, 2 fifths. And that's what w sub 1 is. So I've partitioned basically vector v up that distance. So let's look at it and see what we just figured out. Okay. What we did is we took, using our formula, and we said, how far up this vector do we go? Well, it kind of looks like it's a fifth, right? So one, two, three, four, five. So we went up one fifth of the vector, and then we're going to turn at a 90 degree angle, and that's going to give us our W sub two. So that's what we're doing. Now, once we get to here, how do we figure out W, oops, let me not go there yet. How do we find the second vector? We figured out W sub 1. So U is equal to the composition of W sub 1 plus W sub 2. So we know what U is. U was the original vector of 3, negative 5. We now know W sub 1. We figured that out. That was the, the part of v of 6 fifths, 2 fifths, and we can now find the second vector that we need, the decomposition, the second one. How do we do that? Well, this is easy. We have vector, the big vector is equal to the two small vectors added together, so can't we just take u and subtract w sub 1 to find w sub 2. So we're just going to subtract these two. So let's get a common denominator. Um, what's that going to be? 15 fifths is 3. 
and multiply that by 3. So negative, I'm sorry, negative 25 fifths. That's negative 5. And we're going to subtract 6 fifths and 2 fifths. So what's that going to give us for W sub 2? 15 minus 6 is 9 fifths. And negative 25 minus 2 is negative 27 fifths. And that is W sub 2 that we just calculated. So how do we write our answer? Well, we write our answer as U is equal to the sum of two vectors. So W sub 1, which is 6 fifths. 2 fifths plus the second vector, which is 9 fifths and negative 27 fifths. And we've just taken u and we've decomposed it into two separate parts. And that's our answer. Now, we have a little check. We want to show that these two vectors are perpendicular or orthogonal. Because wasn't the original idea that we went up and then took a 90 degree turn to get to the second position. So that, that means they're orthogonal. Well, when two vectors are orthogonal, we know that their dot product is zero. So how can we prove that? How can we show that? Well, we're just going to take these two vectors, W sub 1 and W sub 2, and we're going to show that the dot product is indeed zero, therefore they're orthogonal. So let's write these out. We got six fifths, two fifths. And we're going to take the dot product with nine fifths and negative 27 fifths. And dot product, you take your horizontal components and multiply those together. So nine, uh, 6 fifths times 9 fifths, that's going to give us, what, 54 20 fifths. And we're going to add to it 2 fifths times a negative 27 fifths, which is negative 54 20 fifths. And yes, indeed, 54 plus negative 54 is 0 over 25, which is just plain old 0. So there you go. We can then show that they are perpendicular or orthogonal, and that's how you do the decomposition. So we're going to stop there on the decomposition. This one is a little bit tricky, but let's look at the concept, okay? We're trying to write u as the sum of two different vectors, but the vectors have to be projected up as a, a third, a, a second vector. So think of this as your house out in the snow. You're at work. You cannot get home. So you have to take a different road to get home. You then take a 90 degree angle to get down to your house. Okay, that's the best way to explain what we're doing. I hope this video was helpful and try to work through a few of those problems.